Hi everyone, and welcome back to our series on the SELECT statement. If you haven't watched our previous video on the basics of the SELECT statement, I suggest you start with that video. Today we'll be talking about accumulators. Accumulators are special type of variables that accumulate information about the graph during the traversal. Like normal variables, they store values. However, what's different is the way they accumulate values. Accumulating is a behavior that's broken into two phases. The first phase is receiving messages. The message received will be temporarily put into a bucket that belongs to the accumulator. The accumulator value cannot be accessed at this point in time. In the second phase, the accumulator will aggregate the messages it received based on the accumulator's type. The aggregated value will become the accumulator's value, and then the value can be accessed. Let's think of this using a real-life example. Imagine taking a test and handing your papers into the teacher. The teacher then takes the average of all the scores and writes that value on the board. In this example, the teacher is the accumulator, and the students are the vertices or edges, and the test papers are the messages, and the average score is the final value of the accumulator. In phase one, while the teacher is collecting all the test papers, the accumulator value is not yet accessible. In phase two, the teacher grades the papers and calculates the average score, allowing access to the accumulator's value. This is essentially the behavior of an accumulator. First, it collects the messages from vertices and edges and performs the operation on the collected values based on its type and then stores the final value. There are two general categories for accumulators, local and global. Local accumulators are declared with a single at symbol, and global accumulators are declared with two at symbols. Local accumulators store information about each vertex and can only be accessed by the traversal instance. They are basically runtime attributes for each vertex. If you run into the same vertex again in the same query block, you will be able to see and make decisions based on the attribute information. For example, a local accumulator can be the average age of neighbors or the number of neighbors that satisfies a certain condition, since their information belongs to its visit vertex or entity in the graph. Global accumulators store information about the entire graph and can be accessed by any node during the query, not limited to the query block. For example, a global variable can be the total number of users that are over the age of 50, or the set of users that have over a thousand friends. They can be defined as a global accumulator because they are not about a specific user, but the entire graph. There are many types of accumulators. Their names are pretty intuitive, so you can pretty much understand what each of them does just by reading the names. We've also included these diagrams to help you visualize what they do. Some accum keeps a running total of integer values or a cumulative concatenation of the text values that are passed in. Max or min accum stores the least or the greatest value that has been passed into the accumulator, only accepting numerical values. Average accum stores the running average of numerical values that have been passed into the accumulator. Set accum maintains a set of unique elements, not allowing any repeat elements to be stored. List accum accumulates a list of elements in the order of which it was passed in. Map accum stores the data like a map using key value pairs. And finally, heap accum maintains a sorted collection of tuples. So think of either an ascending or a descending list. You can also find a capacity limit for this accumulator. Once the capacity is reached, the lowest or the highest value will be dropped when another value is pushed. In this video, we learned about local and global accumulators and all the different types of accumulators and their basic functions. In the next video, we'll be talking about the accum and post accum clauses. Hope you'll join us for that as well. Thank you. See you next time.